On the same day, the governor issued a stay-at-home order to limit the spread of the coronavirus. West Seattle became just a little bit harder to get to. Well, it's kind of spooky. Yeah. To be out here. We were down on um, the Harbor Avenue, not a soul walking. We saw two bike riders, that's it. The West Seattle Bridge is closed, has been since 7 p.m. Monday. There's concerns that the West Seattle High Rise Bridge cannot safely support vehicular traffic at this time. According to the mayor, an inspection over the weekend revealed that cracks were spreading faster than anticipated, prompting a complete closure. <laughs> Stu Hennessy in West Seattle is still going to work because his bike repair shop is considered an essential business. So much so that he's selling and renting bikes to people who plan to cross the Spokane Street Bridge by bike, a bridge that's only open to first responders in commercial traffic, because the other option is to drive south, either to the First Avenue or South Park Bridge. We don't know what changes are going to occur, but we've already got calls even before opening this this morning to, to make sure we're here to help with repairs. And I think that's our big, big uh, challenge and our, and our big usefulness is going to be to keep the bikes running safely uh, during this period when they have to be used to get to downtown and beyond. From our King 5 drone, you can see the bridge that normally carries 100,000 vehicles a day nearly empty. The main connection between West Seattle and the rest of the city is shut down, leaving those who use it regularly wondering how much more they could take. Small businesses are hurting very badly right now. Many of them are closed, no income. We still have rent to pay. As for the bridge itself, there are still many unanswered questions. The city has yet to give any indication of how bad the damage might be or how long the repairs might take. In West Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.